Okay, friends. So we are ready to create a fresh Laravel application. Let's open the iter. And navigate in the code directory because here we are going to create the project. Uh, sorry, clear. Now we have the Laravel installer. Let's say Laravel new and the name of the project. And I'm going to name it Essentials. Okay, click enter and it's going to create a new project out of this uh, directory. And because we have installed the Laravel Valle and we are inside the code directory, now when we when the installer is finished, we can navigate in the browser. Yeah, now application is ready, so because we have installed the Laravel Valle and we are in and we created this project inside the code directory when we added the Laravel park we can say the name of the project we see which is essential dot code because we added the TLD to code in the Laravel Valley hit enter and I see we have a social code and we need to say HTTP like this and here it is the project we are in the Laravel 9.8 and this is the default project now let's open this project with a VS code so in the VS code here I'm going to say open folder and navigate in the code directory we have this essential open this one and here it is the project I'm going to zoom it the VS code and I'm going to make it a full screen Okay, now here it is the project. We have the app directory, uh, bootstrap, we don't need to touch this one. Uh, configuration here is all the configuration files. So for the application authoriz authorization, uh, cache, course, database, and all of that, we have the database here. Here we have the Factories, migration, seeders, public directory where as are going to be the CSS files, JS and images. Resources here we have the CSS and JS, and after we are going to compile these files in the new. CSS inside the public. Okay, next we have this views, and inside the views we have the welcome blade.php, and blade.php is a Laravel template engine. Okay, here we have also the roads. So if you go to the web roads, by default Laravel is creating one for us, and here we have the road object and we are going to work more with that and we have this get method and accept two parameters the first one is the endpoint so this time is slash which is mean this one here and right now we have a closure but we we can also add a uh, a view or what we want here a view or the controller but let's leave it as it is for now and right now he returned the view welcome so inside the resource we have these views and we have this page welcome so it's returning this welcome 
Okay, we have the storage and test where is going to be the test for our testing and vendor bin. We have the .env file where we can make a variable for our project. So here we have for email, SMTP mailhawk by default. And uh, that's it for this video. So in the app directory, we have a, a console, the exceptions. We have this HTTP. When in here, we have the controllers and middleware. And we have also here the models. So the Laravel is stand for MVC, which means model view controller. And here we have the models. Here we, in the HTTP we have the controllers and the views we have inside the resources views. Okay friends, so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.